Constitutional Conversations is hosted It's by the been an expensive campaign. Approximately $800,000 has been put into the constitutional reform process, including TV, radio, and print. Another $800,000 is released in the new budget. But according to attorney Steve McPhee, who's been watching the process closely, voters are still completely confused. As far as most people are concerned, they haven't got a clue of what the Constitution means and what the provisions means. But when you start to uh, have a conversation with them, they do not understand at all what it means. Most people, that is. Both he and the Minister's Association are welcoming the news that a public vote has been delayed. We believe it's the right thing and... and uh, we trust and, and hope that everyone will now come together to make the process in between now and May uh, a very successful one and a very united one. But will another 10 months of marketing be enough to get voters up to speed? I do uh, have some doubts about uh, some of the advertisement models that have been put in place over the period. I think they have been very expensive. but. Um, let us, let us be positive and uh, uh, assuming that we are looking at education rather than propaganda from this time on. I don't, I don't think much is going to change at all. I don't think so. Much will change against, uh, among people like me and my colleagues and all people like that, but not the average person who, 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 who does not understand now what it means. Government is now figuring out the next steps in the education campaign. The television series Constitutional Conversations has now been put on a hold and a final episode will air this Wednesday. Kevin Watler, News 27.